Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 90. On day number 81, we begin uh, the topic of ratio and proportions. Today we're going to do the 10th in the series and then we're going to do 10 more. These 10 that we did from day 81 through 90, they are all very simple, very straightforward problem. And we're going to do 10 more, as I said, down the road, which are going to be a little bit more challenging. But these are very straightforward, simple problems. The first problem is already on the blackboard. Here is how it goes. We are told that in a pet store, the ratio of cats to dogs to elephants is 3 to 4 to 5. If there are 84 animals in the store, if there are in fact a total of 84 animals in the store, the question simply is, how many of each do we have? Well, let's find out, shall we? So we have cats, dogs, and elephants, C, D, E. And the ratio of 3 to 4 to 5. The first thing we have figure, figure out are the total parts that we have here. So we have three parts cats, four parts dog, and five parts elephant. Three plus four is seven, seven plus five is 12. So there are 12 parts altogether. So now we know that 12 parts equals 84 because that's how many elements we have. And therefore, one part must equal 84 divided by 12. You have to find out now how many 12s there are in 84. You have to know your times table. You have to know your table of 12. And if you don't know your table of 12, you, must, you should at least know that 12 fives are 60. Now, how do I know 12 fives are 60 or 5 twelves are 60? How do I know 5 twelves are 60? Because I know 10 twelves are 120. That's pretty straightforward. 10 twelves, if you have 10 twelves, that's 120. Well, therefore, 5 twelves will have to be 60. So we start with 60. Add another 12 to it, we get 72. Add another 12 to it, we get 84. So that represents 5 twelves. 72 represents 6 twelves. 84 represents 7 twelves. So this represents 7. 7 times 12 is 84. That's it, we are done. We have to find out how many of each do we have. And I'm just going to continue here instead of rewriting everything. I'm just going to do it right underneath here. We're going to have to erase this part. So that's it. There are, there are seven. So multiply each by seven and you're done. Then that's how we get it. Yeah. So we have 21 cats. We must have 28 dogs and 35 elephants. And if you add them all up, you will see that it adds up to 84. They have to add up to 84. If they don't, have to, if they don't add up to 84, then something has gone wrong. Something has gone awry. Something has gone uh, uh, straight. Do you understand? They should add up to 84. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. Here's a new question. Question number two. In a pet store, the ratio of cats to dogs to elephant is 3 to 4 to 5. Question is, question is, what could be the number of elephants? What could be, what could be the number of pets in the store. What could be the number of pets in the store and here are the, here are the answer choices. I think I'm going to change this marker if it does not come back to life because I don't like the way it looks. Answer choices are A, B, C, D and E. Very straightforward. 30, 40, 50, 60 and 70. Among the five answer choices that are given to us, only one is the possible number of pets in the store given the fact that they are in the ratio of 3 to 4 to 5. Well, if it's in the ratio of 3 to 4 to 5, you already saw before that 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 12. Which means, which tells us the total number of pets that we have in the store, whatever it is, whatever it is, must be divisible by 12. The total, total must be divisible by 12. Because if it's not divisible by 12, if the total is not evenly divisible by 12, then you're going to end up with some fraction. And trust me, it's very annoying to have 3 and 3 quarter of an elephant running around the store. Very annoying. The total must be divisible by 12 because the nature of the problem is such that they all need to be integers. Sometimes you deal with the problems where the writer does not have to tell you that, you just have to use your common sense to realize that they all need to be integers. If you're talking about ratio of red card to blue cards, if you're talking about ratio of students to teachers, if you're talking about ratios of daffodil to, daffodils to roses, these problems are, such na are of such nature that the quantities must be integers. They cannot involve fractions. 
the only number among the five answer choices that is in fact divisible by 12 is D. 60 is the only number. None of the other 30, 40, 50 and 70 are not divisible by uh, 12. Therefore the possible number of pets that we can have in the store among the five answer choices is 60. You see it says which could be. We have no way of knowing what, what, what the reality is. We have no way of knowing what there are, what is the actual number of pets in the store. But 60 could, could be a possible quantity, quantity 30, 40, 50, 30, 40, 50, and 70 cannot. I'm going to get rid of this marker here. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Next problem. If the ratio of If the ratio of boys to girls in a class is 2 to 5, which can not be the total number of students in the class A, B, C, D and E 105 91 84 45 and 21 see if you can do it yourself it's actually not that complicated same exact idea same exact idea as before with a little bit of a twist in the problem that we just finished, they were asking us which of the following could be the number of animals in the store. Here the question is asking you which of the following can not be. Which of the following can not be. You have to pay attention to, to the wording. Which, which is their way of saying that among the five answer choices, four of them are possible. Four of them are in fact possible. It is possible to have out of these five quantity, four of these quantity is the number of pair, a number of, not the pets rather, the number of students in the class given the fact that the ratio of boys to girls is, we are told, 2 to 5. 2 to 5. Which means if it's 2 to 5, boys to girls is 2 to 5, which means, which means the total has to be divisible by 2 to 5. The total parts, total parts are 7. Which means the total number of students that we have in the class must be divisible by 7. That's the only way we're going to get integers for boys and girls. Do you understand? We don't want a 3 and 3 seventh of a boy. We want 4 boys or 3 boys. We cannot have uh, fractions. The only way we will make sure that we will not end up with fractions of boys and girls is making sure that the total number that we have is in fact divisible evenly by 7. Let's start with 105. So that's what we have to do. We have to go individually one by one and find one number that's not divisible by 7. That's all. Let's start with 105. We're going to divide it by 105, 105 by 7, okay? How many 7 does 1 have? 1 has no 7. 1 has no 7s. That 1 goes and joins the 0 becomes 10. How many 7 does 10 have? 10 has 1 7. 10 has 1 7. The remaining 3 goes and joins the 5 and becomes 35. And 35 has 5 7s. So 105 is in fact divisible by 7. That, that would actually do the job. 107 is in fact divisible by 7. Yeah, we end up with 15, which which means we'll have we'll end up having we'll end up having uh, 30 boys and 75 girls. 30 plus 75, as you can see, is 105. That is possible. Let's move on to 91. Ninety-one. How many seven does nine have? How many seven does nine have? Nine has one seven. Nine has one seven. The remaining two goes and joins the one. The remaining two goes and joins the one, and become twenty-one. And how many seven does twenty-one have? Twenty-one has three sevens. That's it. Which means it is also possible. We'll end up with we'll end up with twenty-six. We'll end up with twenty-six boys and sixty-five girls. That is possible. That is possible. Also notice I always point out to you. I always remind you. Also notice that ninety-one is not a prime number. A lot of the times when people are asked to list the prime numbers 1 through 100, there are two or three that people end up uh, inadvertently missing in their list. And 91 is one of the classic ones where people end up missing it. 91 is not a prime number as you can clearly see. 91 is, a multiple, uh, is, is 13 times 7. 
it's not a prime number, that was just a side note. Let's move on, 84 we're taking too long. Let's move on to 84. How many 7 does 84 have? 84, 8 has 1 7. The remaining one goes and joins the 4, becomes 14, and 14 has 2 7s, which means we'll end up with, we'll end up with 24 boys and 60, 60 girls times 12, you see? That is also possible. How about 21? 21 is also possible because 21 is divisible by 7. We'll end up with 6 boys and uh, 15 girls. That is also possible. 45 is not possible. 45 is not divisible by 7. 45 is not divisible by 7. That's it. Let's do one more, shall we? One last one. There's, there's, here's the next one. We are told that last year, last year, jalapi autos produce five times as many cars, five times as many cars as they did trucks. Okay. We're going to keep it simple. I'm not going to write every single detail in the, uh, on the blackboard. In the real exam, of course, they will, they will spell it out, every, everything, because they don't want to leave their dairy are exposed. So in the real exam, they will actually tell you, they will actually bother to make an extra mention, extra sentence by telling you that they, all they produce was cars and trucks. They produce nothing else. I'm leaving that out, okay? Just for simplicity. So the last year, the Jalapi auto produced five times as many cars as the, the trucks. The question is, which of the following, which of the following could not have been their total production that year, last year. And here are the answer choices. A, B, C, D, and E. 48,000, 60,000, 90,000, 100,000, and 120,000. And again, out of the five quantities that are given to us, it is possible for for them to have produced one of these four quantities, uh, five, four of these five quantities rather, four of these five quantities, one quantity is simply impossible for them to have produced that year, last year that is, given the fact that the ratio of the production of cars to truck was five to one, five times as many, five times as many cars as trucks. So here's our cars, here's our trucks. For every five cars they produce, they produce one truck which means the total part, which means total parts is 6, 5 plus 1. Again, which, which means that the correct answer, whatever it is, or rather, not, I should say correct answer, we're not looking for which of the following could be the, could have been their production, they're asking which of the following could not have been. So we have, there are four of them possible, which means the total yearly production that they had has to be divisible by 6. Our job now is to find one number among these five, which is not evenly divisible by 6. As you can see, 48 is clearly divisible by 6. We can divide 48 by 6. 48 divided by 6, uh, 8, 6 of 48. That works. 60, of course, is divisible by 6. 60, of course, is divisible by 6. 48 is divisible by 6. 90 is divisible by 6. 90 is divisible by 6 because... How do we know 90 is divisible by 6? Because 90 is simply, 90 is simply 60 plus 30. 60 plus 60, 60 is divisible by 6, and 30 is divisible by 6. 60 times divided by 6 is 10, and 30 divided by 6 is 5, so it's 90 divided by 6 is 15. And if you want to do it out, you can do it out very easily. It's very easy. 90 divided by 6. How many 6 does 9 have? 9 has 1 6. The remaining 3 goes. The choice is 0, becomes 30, and 30 is going to have 5 sixes. As we just said a second ago, there are 15 sixes. How about 120? 120 is also divisible by 6, because 60 is divisible by 6. That is also divisible by 6. But we cannot divide... 100, we cannot divide 100 evenly into 6. 100 will not divide evenly into 6. If you were to do that, you'll end up with some fractions, and you cannot have a fraction of a truck. You cannot have a fraction of a car, for that matter. They have to be integers. 
Therefore, among the five numbers that are given to us, their yearly production last year could not possibly have been 100,000. They may have produced 120,000, they could have produced 90,000, 60,000, or 48,000, but not 100,000. It is not possible given the fact that they only produce cars and trucks and they produce them in the ratio of 5 to 1. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.